Hey Capricorns, welcome to your love reading from July 24th to the 31st for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Cappies, I hope you guys are really handling this eclipse energy fairly well. Um, <laughs> everyone's going to be feeling some Capricorn energy for the next couple weeks, all right? And you guys are going to be feeling extra hard because of your Capricorn energy. Um, in the meditative session, it was really interesting. I was getting a lot of like sweet energy, like sweetness, ro romance, romanticizing, whimsy, fantasy, but very lighthearted energy. It felt so beautiful and felt so good. Capricorn, if you're not feeling that, someone could be feel you could you could be making someone feel that way. Okay, um, it just feels really nice. It feels very yummy. It feels very much like um, oh, like uh, how do I say that? Um, like. When you first get a crush, thank you, crush. Like a crushing kind of energy. Someone could be crushing on you. You could be crushing on somebody. Um, I just feel like you're on someone's mind a lot or someone is on your mind a lot. It feels very much like that. I did get a couple channelings actually for a couple people out there. They're going to be weird ones, but I'm just going to give them to you. I saw someone in a cast, an arm cast. Well, that one's not weird. The other one's a little weird. Um, it was on the left arm. They showed me the elbow. So the cast actually goes all the way up here. But I would think if it goes all the way up here, it would be like a whole kind of shoulder arm situation so capricorn i don't know if this is something that's already happened or not and this could be happening to someone you know just be mindful of <coughs> excuse me mm. just be mindful of anything that you're doing you know anything that's requiring a lot of physical work because it could be like a what is that called not just the shoulder but like the, you know the joint Rotator cuff. That's what it is. I was like, oh, it's right there. Rotator cuff. Someone can have a rotator cuff injury or a shoulder injury. Either way, I saw a cast on the left arm. So just something to keep in mind. And again, I'm not sure if it's happened yet already, but it is a little something I saw. Um, and then I got a channeling about bubble gum. Like, well, gum, but bubble gum, right? That is what it is. <laughs> um, and I got this energy of like someone's mother or grandmother really hates it when you eat gum or chew gum. And I actually... If it's a grandmother, I don't feel like they're living. I definitely don't feel like they're living. Um, but they hated it when you chewed gum, and it's almost like you know it's not good for you. It's like they wanted me to tell you that. You know it's not good for you. Stop doing that. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. That's got to be for like one person out there, okay? It felt like a motherly grandmother figure, but I, I do get the sense that they're not really with us in the 3D anymore, okay? So that, that was a channeling for somebody. All right, Capricorn, so let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. We have Temperance, Sagittarian energy with the Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. I feel like I've had this visual for you guys before. I just saw someone pushing a big ass boulder up a hill. I know that's a bi biblical story or is that Greek mythology? No, it's biblical. I think it's biblical. Pretty sure that's a biblical story. I personally have not read the Bible, guys, so I'm just putting that out there. Um, just saw someone pushing up a hill when it, with this with these cards. Well, either way, I'm not that worried about it because with temperance there and devil in reverse, that's basically saying there's a lot of healing that's taken place here. Yeah, I know. Kitty's with me today. Um, that there's basically a lot of healing that's taken place here. Temperance is usually my fix-it angel. It is indicative of divine intervention at play um, to get rid of some toxic energy. And Cappies, I know you're the, you're the devil card. I know. And honestly, if it's just relating to you, it's relating to healing that you're, you've been, you're going to be experiencing. I know, this Mercury retrograde is really messing with a lot of readers' speech, way more than usual, at least for me, way more than usual. But there is a very divine, healing, balancing energy here coming to the forefront, and I feel like that's what's causing the the whimsy, so to speak. The whimsy, the romanticizing energy that, that I'm feeling so strong. And it feels good, I like it. I really like it, whether it's you feeling it or someone else, but I think it's a result of healing taking place here, okay? Just got daydream. What is this daydream about? Hold on. Oh. Oh, it's... <laughs> I felt like you were just talking to me. This daydream energy that just came in? Someone's daydreaming about this. Someone's daydreaming about... Ro <laughs> He's crazy today. Someone's daydreaming about romance. Someone's daydreaming about healing. Daydreaming about being with someone. Oh, that's so sweet. I like that. But then we got some funky energy here, Cappies. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy with the Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and the Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. With that Ten of Swords and Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel like this is almost like a long standing period of pain, a lot of mistrust, pessimistic energy. 
and something that happened in the past but it's like it's long standing and i feel like for cappies whether it's you or someone else who's feeling this it's caused the wheel to not really move it's caused stagnation in this person's life who's kind of in that energy who was feeling the brunt of that at cappies i do feel like it's probably you and then we have the tower here which i'm actually really happy to see this tower is coming after this energy which tells me it's a very much needed tower <laughs> It's a tower that needs to happen to get rid of the stagnation and the pain that's being felt here. Yeah, it's a tower that's coming and it's going to be a very good tower, very healthy tower. And then we have this, Ten of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. <laughs> Sorry, they're bringing me back here. The whimsy will come in after this tower moment happens. And when that tower moment happens, I feel like a lot of healing is going to take place and someone's daydream is basically going to come true. That's really sweet. Ten of, ten of Wands, not Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. Oh! You guys okay? So sorry, guys. I don't know what is with him right now. Um, anyway, he was so calm for a good while. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy with the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. King of Cups in reverse, more Scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. With the Two of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also a soulmate connection here. This King of Cups is not dealing with their emotions so well. They're in a bit of a depressed energy over loss. Feels like over a loss of a soulmate loss of a, of a soulmate, someone from their soul tribe, a very loving connection, and the weight of it is very burdensome for them. It's actually keeping them quite paralyzed. They're not doing a whole lot, Cappies. They're not doing a whole lot. They're not doing a whole lot. And it's interesting because this ton of swords in reverse energy, I feel like is felt by both parties. But Cappies, I feel like you've dealt with it better than this King of Cups in reverse. At least my feminine energies have been dealing with it better than this masculine energy has been dealing with it. This person is not handling their emotions. They're not. I'm getting a lot of emotional turmoil inside of this person. Um, oh. I feel like energetically they're just curled up in a little ball. Oh, man, I feel for this person. I feel for them. But whoever's doing a lot of daydreaming, their daydreaming is about to come true, okay, with this tower moment. Whenever this tower moment comes in, it's going to be a very good tower moment. It's going to release a lot of pain. Release almost, I'm also getting karma too. Releasing karma. Mm. And blocks that have been built up over time. Okay. Blocks that have been built up over time that have been ignored. Okay. All right, Capricorns. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. And I suggest you do if you have any questions. There's a lot of questions that could be answered with that video. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Clyde? Oui. Oh, Bubba. Thank you. All right. If he does it one more time, I'm putting him in my room. <laughs> I had to put him in my room during one of my Patreon videos, but, you know, thought he was okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Capricorn? Oh my god, I'm getting such heavy romance energy. And it's funny because that is Leo energy. It is Leo energy. It's like dating energy, courting energy. And that is the energy we're coming into during this last this during this last week of July. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. One more. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I just got a little pinch on my neck. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love. Ooh. Ace of Swords. I love when the Ace of Swords comes out, especially with this kind of energy. This is full on truth and clarity. The Sword of Truth. It's also a card of intuition and downloads as well for the, whoever that resonates with. But this is getting a lot of clarity in the situation, okay? It's also about a new start. A new start. Any other messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. A lot of communication is about to come in, Cap. <sighs> I don't know if this King of Cups is ready for this communication. This this King of Cups is about to have a conversation with you, Capricorn. And if you're the King of Cups, about to have a conversation with someone who's um, in basically the other half of that soulmate connection, okay? Hang in there with me with my words, guys. I'm trying. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. 
Any messages for Capricorn? Come on, regarding love, there we go. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be the full truth, guys. Hi, Priestess, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. This is someone who has secret knowledge. This is also about intuition. Oh, oh, there's a lot of truth about to be learnt, <laughs> learnt and discussed. Wow. And I feel like this is coming in the form of downloads first and then through communication. I feel like a feminine energy is going to be getting some really intense downloads here. And then there's going to be a conversation after that. I don't feel like the feminine energy is prompting it though. Clyde? Okay. Sorry, guys. He's going in the room. Oi, come here. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Come here. my bad guys <laughs> sorry about that okay yeah there's a feminine energy here who's going to be getting did i drop a card no i didn't uh who's going to be getting a lot of um not a lot just very clear very clear downloads and then a conversation will come after the fact is how this is feeling to me um i don't think this feminine energy is going to prompt yeah no they're not going to prompt the conversation but either way there will be a conversation about a lot of secrets a lot of hidden stuff. A lot of hidden stuff. I feel like this King of Cups in reverse held back a lot of information. And the full truth is coming out. Okay, guys? All right, let's see what else we got. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Capricorn? Hold on a second. There we go. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Okay, so it's going to be a three-card reading, Cappies. Oh, I love it. Chariot, Cancerian energy. That's pretty beautiful. This is going to allow for forward movement to happen. Okay, whether you're going to reconcile with this person or just not. <laughs> Either way, there's going to be progress and growth as a result of it, but it is very watery, guys. It is in the realm of emotions. I'm getting the word daydream again. Oh, I'm so excited, Cappies. I'm so excited for you. Overall energy, we do have two of pentacles in reverse, if it will focus. There we go. Two of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Underneath that, we do have the ace of pentacles here. Hmm. This is indecisiveness. Interesting. I feel like indecisiveness about an offer. Hmm. It's coming from the approacher. The approacher of the conversation really can't decide if they should or not this is a theme for everybody right now jesus i should have just done one big collective reading for this energy given with the all the eclipse energy it, we're all going to be in the same boat pretty much just slight differences yeah should i make this offer should i not make this offer should i go for it should i not go for it this is also in indicating juggling as well that if there was a third party situation juggling is now over and a choice has been made What's underneath it? Oh, well. Oh, well, gee, I, <laughs> it might be juggling for a lot of you. Look what was underneath that. Seven of swords, strength in reverse, and seven of cups in reverse. <laughs> juggling definitely could have been it. If it is, I think you guys already know about it. I don't think it would be a huge shock. And if you kind of know, you're going to get clarity through a download and through intuition and then communication to follow. Not all of you will get downloads. Some of you, it's just going to be through the conversation. But those who are intuitive, those who have abilities, and those who have a very deep spiritual telepathic connection with this person, you're going to know. You're going to know before you have the conversation. But let's look at that Ace of Swords. I feel like we're getting a lot of cards for that one. I mean, is Rider Wait to clarify? Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Jeez. Ace of Swords with the High Priestess. That's a very intense combination. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Regarding love. 
July 24th to the 31st. All right, that feels really good. Tell me about Ace of Swords. For Capricorn. Regarding love. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. I'm getting a little mini download. I'm going to hold on to it, though. Um... It just feels very kind of out of left field. Oh, okay, fine. They want me to talk about it. <laughs> uh, they want me to talk about it. Uh, someone here I feel like is a masculine energy. Yeah, a very masculine energy. And this could be the person you're connected with. Fe my feminine Capricorns. This could be just the masculine energy that you're connected with in this reading. Um, someone's carried this energy with them. And I think unknowingly up until now of feeling worthless of feeling like they're nothing, feeling like they have nothing to offer, feeling very um, overly criticized. It's a big trigger for them. That criticism is a very big trigger for them. And they're realizing that they aren't nothing and that they never were nothing. Um, wow, that's powerful. Okay. Oh, I felt that in my solar. Anyway, keep it going. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about, ooh. Mm, three of Pentacles in reverse. This could definitely be the ending of a third party for those in that situation. Capricorn energy. Let's see what else we got out here. This is also getting clarity on why something didn't work out. On why, you know, something didn't come to full fruition. Because Three of Pentacles is about discussing things, discussing a plan of action, getting a plan of action together. Three of Pentacles in verse is basically that plan falling apart. Someone could finally be getting their answers as to why something didn't work out, but they could also be getting clarity that there's no longer a third party situation for those in that boat. Tell me about... <laughs> Tell me about Ace of Swords. You'll laugh in a minute. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the 30... Oh, wow. To the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Come on. Whoa. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Not surprising. Oh, but then look at this, guys. Then look at this. Oh, yeah. Two of Cups. Soulmate energy, Cancerian energy with that King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little overwhelmed. And Cappies, if you are this feminine energy, literally this feminine energy, gaining some truth and clarity on this situation, you're basically going to realize someone really loves you. And I feel like this is, I, 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 and I already know, some of you are like, yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> but guys, this is something you, feminine, my feminine energies have had a lot of doubt about. A lot of, of doubt about. Some of you, hmm. Some of you have even had issues with like feeling loved, like believing people love you, believing you can be loved. This is gonna hit you and you're just gonna be like, oh my God, they, they're madly in love with me. <laughs> oh, it, it's cut, honestly, it's like, it's so freaking sweet. No wonder I was getting all that romantic whimsy energy. This is, oh my God. Okay, let's just keep going. Overall energy, no way. Overall energy, look at this. It was like this, and this was right underneath. Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. <laughs> I, I, I'm amazed, guys. I'm amazed and baffled and so excited. Not baffled, no. I'm a little speechless. I'm just really excited for you guys, or whoever this resonates with. This is realizing that there's a, like, that this person is perfect for you. The feminine energy is realizing that this emperor, while they've got some stuff to work out, is freaking perfect for them and that they're madly in love with them. It's almost, it almost feels like Christmas. It's like, like unwrapping like the best gift ever. Like something that kind of shatters your doubt almost instantaneously. Shatters your doubt instantaneously. The fact that the emperor's in reverse though, I do find that a little worrisome. And my feminine energies, I think you're going to find that worrisome as well. Yeah, you're going to find that worrisome as well. The emperor, the emperor feels like the one who's trying to figure out if they need to go for this or not to make this offer. They're, mad, they're madly in love with you. <laughs> 
they're madly in love with you okay and if there was a third party situation you're you're finding out like very clearly you're finding out that it is over because they're madly in love with you i mean look at this <laughs> look at that look at that divine masculine divine feminine right next to each other i mean that's just amazing i, I i'm almost don't want to move on because i just love this energy and it, the romance off of this feels incredible and I want, I'm actually, we might get some of that with the chariot. So let's go ahead and look at the chariot and see what's going on with that. Oh, congratulations, Cappies. Oh, I hope you guys get swept off your feet. Okay. Using Gilded Tarot to clarify the chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. I, I wonder if they're just gonna flat out say it I love you and you're perfect like I wonder if that's just how they're gonna say it to you some of you are gonna get just a very clear-cut like statement like that tell me about the chariot tell me about the chariot for Capricorn regarding love July 24th to the 31st Okay, that feels good. Tell me about the chariot. <laughs> Four of wands. Aries energy heading towards stability, heading towards building a foundation, a relationship, a commitment, a marriage even. So <laughs> some of you guys might get a ring. I'm not even shitting you. Ace of Pentacles is a, is a proposal card. It's like, you know, it's that big grand pentacle diamond right it's also indicative of a gift someone might be deciding if they should propose to you or not oh my god oh my god tell me about the chariot oh interesting king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra i'm not loving that energy right there i'm not loving that energy but let's see what else comes out okay king of swords in reverse is like the shadowy it's the shadow side of the King of Swords, essentially. So think of shadow side of intelligence. Yeah. Someone who's a little too smart for their own good, a little too calculating. And especially with air energy, they're not very, um, they have emotion. We all have emotion, um, but they don't like to tap into it. They don't like to tap into it. I feel like this chariot energy is about building this foundation, but getting over that kind of ego um, energy that kind of calculating energy. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. For Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Either way, I'm still very like taken aback by this reading. Oh, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy could also be earth or air. That's the king you wanna see. That's the king you wanna see. This is a king all about stability. All about stability, protection, providing, abundance. It's basically like having, having a rock, you know, having someone in a relationship that can really be a rock and someone that you can really rely upon. King of Swords in Reverse is someone who's more self-serving. This is someone who's about providing and taking care of others. Let's see here. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn regarding love, July 24th to the third, wow, to the 31st. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> High Priestess, spicy and energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Page of Wands, and then we end with the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Very much a student card. You could be dealing with a student or you could be a student. Hold on, let me get all these organized. All right, there we go. Overall energy for the chariot, we do have the Fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. This is taking a really big risk, a really big leap of faith with this chariot energy. It's pretty much going in blind, not, not really having a sense of what's going to happen as a result of this, right? With this Four of Wands and the King of Swords in reverse, this chariot energy, remember, this is clarifying the chariot. This is about getting over hurdles. That's what the chariot is. It's being triumphant. It's like you've been through shit, time to move ahead, Try like time to just run over those obstacles and get to where you need to be, which isn't a foundation. With the King of Swords in reverse, I feel like there's not a whole lot of talking about that right now. 
as the energy stands now as I'm doing this reading here, okay? But I feel like this emperor has had a history of being like this in relationships. This is overcoming that issue. Overcoming that issue of being self-serving in relationships, being egotistical in relationships, being too calculating in relationships, right? Instead of just being in the emotion of it, then they freaking love you. Then they freaking love you, right? And then we get this energy. Let me pull all these cards back out. We have the King of Pentacles with the High Priestess. There's definitely, this Empress is definitely acting as a High Priestess energy. A lot of my Empresses that are watching are acting as a High Priestess energy. Not all of them, most of them are. This is about the secrets, right? This is about what's being hidden, which is being revealed, which is basically just realizing the Emperor loves the Empress or just having that information be known. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Basically this King, is looking at all of the stuff they haven't said to the empress here in regards to this in regards to working it out in regards to discussing some plans to build something in regards to approaching them approaching the empress with an idea with excitement with inspiration with romance with romance and eight of pentacles studying the shit out of it <laughs> Eight of Pentacles is a research card i feel like this king is actually researching the hell out of this empress which is funny to me because I think they know the Empress, but they're researching. They're researching, researching. Oh, and planning. Thank you. They, they might have a strong Virgo placement. They're doing a lot of planning with this card. Planning on the approach. Oh, my. <laughs> planning on the approach. I swear to God. If some of you guys get a ring, you got to comment below. Please. If you guys get a ring, you got to comment below. Um, yeah. Strategizing, researching, gathering information, making plans on an approach to try to collaborate and to fix this. All trying to figure out how to tell the empress what they should have told the empress a while ago which is hey i love you oh my god it's beautiful i love it i love it let's get some advice here cappies where are we at is that 27 oh yeah 27 minutes okay that's not bad that's not bad i ended up spoiling taurus i really didn't mean to <laughs> anyway any advice for my capricorns regarding this spread any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding, sorry, I'm being drawn back into this energy with the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. You see how he's holding one cup in his hand? What's the other thing? Is that an even smaller cup? What is that? I guess we'll just call it a scepter, a tiny scepter. Hopefully they don't have a tiny scepter. No shade, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> he's holding that cup, same cup that's in this image, but then what happens? There's an exchange of cups. They wanna give their cup to you. I want you, Capricorn. Can we exchange cup? Did you want, do you want my cup? It's very cute, it's very freaking cute. Anyway. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? This is a big leap of faith for this emperor. It's a little scary for them, guys. Just a heads up. It is a little scary. They're realizing they have to overcome a lot of their old ways of doing things, which is really important. I mean, that's that's big. Uh, there are a lot of people on this planet who can't even recognize their own faults, right? This person's recognizing how they need to do things differently and how they didn't do things in the right way. Any advice for Capricorn regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Dove Spirit, be peace with the energy of 21, breaking down to a three. An Electric Eel Spirit, bring your ideas to life. Very much a manifestation energy. I always get a lot of emotion with this though. This is about manifesting your emotional desires, the things that make your heart sing. A lot of romance coming off that Dove card as well. Um, dove spirit is about um, not only being tuned into spirit, but also having a sense of calm and a sense of trust about the situation, calmly manifesting what your heart desires here. This should be easy peasy. Easy peasy? Why did I feel like that sounded weird for a second? When, and me saying that, it's like once the truth is spoken, that's what's going to bring the peace is truth that's what's going to actually bring this manifestation into fruition manifestation is a lot of having to actually do stuff it's not just 
visualization and putting it out into the ether. It's actually making the efforts, putting in the action. This truth coming out, this conversation, and again, a lot, some of my feminine energies are just going to get this intuitive hit and then they're going to wait for the conversation to happen. That's going to bring in peace and calm and a sense of ease to the situation and it will manifest. It will bring the manifestation to fruition. Again, very much that daydream coming to life. Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it, Capricorns. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? We've got one other card out here. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Snake spirit, time to heal. 55 is a master number, very indicative of a tower moment. I feel like the tower is basically this conversation. It feels like a very good tower. Um, and this is definitely healing for the emperor more so than the empress which is it's not a contest um but this emperor really needs it because they recognize the need to come over some you know not so positive ways of being in relationships when they approach this empress they're showing respect to the empress i like that they didn't show it before is what i just heard they didn't show it before hmm interesting anyway so healing it's time to heal this it's time to heal this situation. It's time to surrender to the emotion of it and just surrender to the peace of it. Oh, it's really nice. Overall energy, we have chameleon spirit. Act as if 14, breaking down to a five. You got three fives here. 55 and a five. Again, three fives is essentially a tower moment that's coming. But it's very positive, guys. It's a very positive one. This is adapting to change, accepting change for what it is, especially change of the self that's very much needed. This is for the emperor. This is for the emperor. And for the empress, it's also about belief. Believing that people can change. Oh, <laughs> believing people can change. This is going to be deep. This is going to be a deep ass conversation. I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> for whoever's going to be experiencing this. And again, congratulations to whoever's experiencing this. This seems like a very honest approach to really mending a situation in a healthy way. And like, and like I've been saying, we are in Lazarus season. We're going to be in Lazarus season for two weeks after July up until mid-August because of post-shadow effects and everything. Eclipse energy also brings people back up so you can deal with stuff and close out old wounds, right? So you can heal. Those have six months post-shadow effects. So just, just keep that in mind, okay? All right, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Have a good night and namaste.